One of my top 20, I've talked about this before, all-time favorite films. Doesn't quite, it doesn't crack my top 10, but it is for me in my top 20, and I don't think there's another human being alive that this movie's in their top 20. But it is for me. And that's Clerks 2. Because Clerks 2 had that, you know, raunchy, you know, whatever, uh, and, you know, Rosario Dawson, who was like every teenage boy's dream girl character in that movie, like all that kind of stuff. But at the heart of it was this incredible story about a guy who is struggling with what is my priority in life? I have a great opportunity to further my career and get ahead and blah, blah, blah. But doing that means leaving my friends, my family, my circle, and leaving the people who are important to me in my life. And that I watched that movie as I was facing the same dilemma. And so because of that, and the Smashing Pumpkins song that's in that, um, what's the name of the boom, 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 uh, boom. I just can't remember the yeah. name of the song. Uh, but that song is like so perfect. Whenever I hear that song now, all I think about is Clerks 2. But because of that, it made a real emotional impression on me, and it's been with me ever since. I love it. So when they announced that they were doing Clerks 3, I got really excited. The trailer has come out. I can tell you my excitement is gone. <laughs> my excitement Phew. is gone. Now, let me preface this with a couple of things. Number one. I didn't think the trailers for Clerks 2 looked any good. And now it's like one of my top 20 favorite films of all time, right? Um, number two, it is just a trailer. Lots of trailers I've seen that I didn't like that I ended up loving the movie. And I hope that's what happens here. And I love Kevin Smith. Love Kevin Smith. But while it's great seeing the characters again, uh... Dante is starting to look his age a little bit, which he should. But revisiting these characters again makes my heart feel great. Seeing Jay and Silent Bob come up in front of the, 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 the shop and start dancing and stuff like that makes my heart feel good. But the moment that they reveal that the plot of the movie revolves around Randall. I get confused. Which one's Randall? Which one's Dante? Anyway. Uh, no, you're right. Randall's yeah. the Randall deciding that he's going to make a movie. I'm like, ah, really, Kevin? Haven't you done this like exact thing already? Like in in, in a roundabout way? Like I, yeah. I listen. Listen, the movie may be absolutely fabulous, and I'm going to keep my hopes high. I'm just saying, if I'm only speaking about the trailer. Because I'm going to remain very optimistic for the movie. But if I'm going to be honest, just talking about the trailer, the trailer disappointed me. It kind of let me down. There were definitely moments in it that I was smiling and grinning. Absolutely. But again, it, to me, it was just about finding out that the plot of it is they're going to make a movie. And I can just see them recycling 18 other jokes they've den done in some of the Jay and Silent Bob movies. And I don't know. I just the trailer didn't click for me. Amy, you had a chance to watch the trailer. What first of all, do you have any kind of connection to the, like the old Kevin Smith movies, whether it's Mall Rats or The Clerks or whatever? And what did you think about this trailer? I mean, I think it. I I almost think I have a little less uh, trepidation about it, and maybe that is because I like Clerks. It's not like a a personal. So to me, it's just like, all right, we'll see how this goes. I think Meta is always just going to be a really uh, fine line to walk. It can either work great and be super funny and some really clever jokes. Or it can get a little grating. So I, I'm a little on the fence of, ah, we'll wait we'll wait and see what the buzz around this one is. It, it could go either way for me. Rob, what did you think about it? I think I liked it more than you. Only because, you know, I like seeing, it, to me, it, it landed for whatever reason. The thing, that, the thing that was disappointing to me, and I think it's been disappointing, because I like Kevin Smith as well, his last couple of movies, and this one had that, it looks like they went out and shot it on a weekend with a video camera or, or phones. And, and it... Which is a little like, harkening back to how he shot the original. But I, it does. Like but that, I yeah. like the way like Clerk Two, Clerks Two, and Dogma when he went you know widescreen and it just seems that visually he sort of regressed a bit. And I think it would have helped. And again, having not seen the movie, just looking at the trailer, I think if it was a little more lush visually. I mean, you're shooting the quick stop and everything was. It was all these these kind of flat shots, and maybe that that's the style of Clerks. But I liked seeing Kevin Smith sort of start to break out and do some more things that were dynamic visually. Um, 
But that said, I really did feel from this trailer that it it really has is informed by Kevin Smith the last few years of his life. I mean, he had a heart attack. He came very close to yeah, dying. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And you know, you know, what, I didn't even think about that. So that's probably that's a good personal element for him. Yeah, and I, I I really kind of felt that. And and Randall, like like I love the moment in the trailer where he stands up and he he's pontificating and then he flatlines. You know, it's like, Deed! and I, I don't know. I thought that was, I thought that was interesting, but I, I really do like to see filmmakers that make films when you know that what's going on is so intertwined with their actual real lives, mm -hmm. because I feel that there's some real insight to be gleaned from a movie like that. Right. So I, I did smile at this trailer yeah. and I did feel like, you know what? I, I, I will watch this now. I had no, I, I mean, I had no, I, I didn't have any, any feelings about it one way or another. But this did, like a trailer, it did move my needle into, oh, I, I would like to see that. I would like to see what Kevin Smith's uh, response to a near-death experience right. you know, has meant to him and, and how does it relate to these characters that began his career. Because like you said, with Clerks 2, again, he was dealing with his own life and what does it mean when you, you do have to leave and you do have to, t you did, like you took a leap. Yeah. You know, your friends had that intervention and said, go do this thing. And you you left your home country, you know, and made that journey. And I think that if a filmmaker has something like that to say, I think it's worthy it, it, at least to experience. So that's that's I, I, I'm kind of excited. Quick, I mean, nothing was this could have been the worst trailer in the world. I would still be very excited about watching. Yeah, the movie. Yeah. I think it's just that line of is this going to be kind of a sweet throwback for fans of the original films or is it going to kind of stand on its own yeah and and by the way the one other thing i, I can't believe i've been talking about all these other kevin smith movies i really like zach and miri make a porno too yep yeah. that that was like really charming funny brandon routh and justin long i know they're not in, in the movie much but brandon routh and justin long is this couple i i could watch that on loop all day anyway guys <laughs> question is for you did you have a chance to see the trailer for clerks three if so what did you think of it? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and leave those thoughts there. We want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of today's video, Storyblocks. Guys, I have been an enthusiastic fan and user of Storyblocks for years. I go to them whenever I'm in need of content creation assets like royalty-free music, video clips, or templates for my creative projects, ranging anywhere from little editorial videos to my very own full feature documentary. Storyblocks helps you bring your stories, videos, and projects to life without sacrifices due to time, budget, or access to resources. They have over 1 million different story assets, ranging from stock videos, audio and music, an in-browser video editor, and they feature pre-designed templates, animations, and outros. Storyblocks uses an affordable subscription model and their unlimited access plans offers, well, unlimited video and audio downloads rather than a costly pay-per-clip model. With Storyblocks, you'll be able to create more content and more importantly, better content, all while using a subscription plan that fits your budget, utilizing unlimited downloads of demand-driven and diverse content. So if you're interested in upping your content creation game, head over to W www.storyblocks.com slash campia and get started today. That's www.storyblocks.com slash campia.